All right, in this exercise, we're being asked to convert this point from cylindrical form, which I've just abbreviated CF, to rectangular form. So that means this point is currently in cylindrical form, meaning that this is R, this is theta, and this is Z. So the way that we convert a point in one form to a point in another form is we just use the conversions that we've derived previously. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, you can go back and watch some of our earlier videos. But basically we just need something that when you plug in an R and a theta or a Z or something like that, you'll get an X, a Y, or a Z. Now, now the Z is, is actually immediate because Z is in cylindrical form and rectangular form and it's the same Z. So this guy right here is finished. So all we really have to do is convert R and theta to X and Y and we'll be done. Um, I think to do that, I think our first two conversions are gonna be uh, the ones that'll do the trick. We're gonna plug in R and theta into R cosine theta to get X and R sine theta to get Y and we'll be done. So X would be R, which is six, times the cosine of two pi over three and the y will be six times the sine of two pi over three. And of course, z is the same, so our z will be nine halves. So for this, it's really helpful if you know your unit circle well. Uh, if you can do your unit circle well, then these take no time at all. Um, cosine of two pi over three on the unit circle would be negative one half. So it'd be six times negative one half. So that'll be negative three. And then sine of two pi over three will be root three over two. So six times root three over two. And then six over two is three. So we'll get three root three. So we're done. So here's our, our final answer um, in rectangular form. This is rectangular form here. The point is negative three comma three root three comma nine halves. This represents the same point as, as this one right here, but in rectangular form as opposed to cylindrical form.